Hey, hello guys. I'm making this video about uh, I got a request from someone, a viewer, uh, about how to create uh, the ruler on Spring Layout 6. It's not that difficult. Uh, I use the ruler just to make sure that my PCBs they are not way not that big, because the last PCB that I was making is a ginormous, gigantic PCB. I did not know how to pronounce that word. Anyway, uh, it was really this is the biggest PCB I ever made so far. I almost completed it today. So this one is a, uh, 325 millimeters by 100 millimeters. So yeah, it is a really big uh, PCB. So uh, let's make a video about how to create a ruler. So you to keep it, just to keep keep in mind uh, the size of your PCB. So you want to measure that PCB in case you're going to order a few PCBs so you know exactly how big it is or you can just make adjustments uh, to make a square out that size of the PCB. One example the PCB can be 99 to 95 uh, millimeters so just square that out to 100 millimeters so you, you need to know how large it is. You can use the ruler for, for in that purpose. Right now I was just making uh, a new ruler. I already, I already made one last year so this is the way I do it. For example, I'm going to do it with this uh, gray line. It's supposed to be still screen, so let's let's fix it right now. Uh, uh oh, don't worry about that. It's supposed to be S1, the still screen. So right now I'm going to create it. The the, the way I do it, it just uh, I think it's right click, go to title, go to tile, and then you will type as many uh, as you want. Right now I I have nine lines. And the distance between them is exactly one millimeter so I just press OK and I create a so I had to find uh, I had to move this over so as you can see yeah exactly one millimeter between all of them if I zoom here I'm going to measure uh, from one uh, point to the other and you will see that it's actually one millimeter exactly and then I will continue doing that and then this is 10 millimeters mark so what I do is just I make nine lines first and then the last one will be the number 10 so then I will, I will continue doing that until I get uh, oh, let me copy the other one that is a lot easier if I do this I'm gonna copy this one here and then I'm going to measure that to make sure I have one millimeter between the larger one and the smaller one. See, I exactly I got one millimeter and then I will continue making those lines and then I'm going to create a number 20 for the 20 millimeter ma uh, mark. So I, ju I just going to copy this place it over here and this should be 20 20 millimeters and then you will continue doing that until you complete the ruler Bro, you can make a ruler of maybe uh, how big is this? 160, uh, probably 300, maximum 300 millimeters. The ruler. So this is the 300 millimeter ruler. So you can clone that as many times as you want. Uh, one way that you can do it faster is just uh, example. I'm going to clone this with the number two and with the numbers. Uh, sorry about that. And then I'm gonna copy it, place it over here. And then just change the number to 30, 30 millimeters, and so on and so on and until you complete the ruler. I'm going to do it one more time, so you're going to press it right here. And let's see, measure, make sure it's correct. Yeah, it is correct. So this one is number 40, 40, 40 millimeters. So if I use the ruler, the there is on the software there is a ruler that you can measure the the distance between the uh, tracks or lines or, or, or I'm, I'm sorry pads and stuff like that so I'm going to place it right here on the zero from here to here I got 10 20 millimeters 30 millimeters and 40 millimeters and then, and then you will continue doing that until you get the the desired uh, length uh, length of the of the ruler so it's really helpful in case you you want to know the size of the PCB but uh, another way you can do that, uh, I, I always use the ruler here, the measuring tape. I call it the measuring tape. And then I just place it on one of the corners of the PCB. One, one example, this blue line is the outline. That's a really important uh, line. So that will uh, 
the uh, it will it will show the where they are going to cut the PCB. That's a really important. You will see it as a black line when you uh, photo view it. You make a photo view of the of the PCB. So right now we're going to measure from this corner to the other corner of the PCB to see how big it is, how large it is, or long, whatever. Here I have oh man, there you go. I got 325 millimeters in length, pretty long, uh, long PCB. So as you can see here, I just size of the PCB 325 millimeter by 100 millimeters. I'm going just going to show you that right quick. I'm going to place the ruler here and go all the way down until the other, um, until I reach the other corner of the PCB. There you go. I got 100 millimeters, so it's correct. So I got a PCB is 325 millimeter by 100 millimeters. So that's a pretty uh, big uh, PCB. Yeah, I got a lot of junk on my PC, on my desktop. So I always do this. I make a, a 3D a 3D view of, of the Gerbers to see how it looks. So that's the way I, I do it like this, so I can check uh, the PCB. As you can tell, it looks pretty good. That's a 3D, basically a 3D view of the PCB. That's a really big PCB. I think one of the biggest PCB that I ever made for this uh, MOSFET amplifier. All right, that's it. I just wanted to make a quick video about it, so I will continue making more videos in English because uh, most, most of the, oh, most of my videos they are in Spanish, but I'm going to try to mix it up with the English and Spanish <laughs> too. All right, I hope you you like the, this video. It's not that difficult. The only thing you gotta do is just press a line. Uh, just draw a throw draw a line. You can do it with inches, but I'm not sure uh, the inches. I gotta check that uh, inches. Maybe I gotta I gotta check that. But I always use millimeters on, on Spring Layout Six. So that's the way you do it. You just trace a line right here and make sure the line is to set layer to S1. That's the full screen, and then you will go to Tile. And then you just uh, uh, you you will duplicate that nine times because you need the other uh, longer line for the the 10, 20, 30, and 40 millimeters. So you know exactly. So it's a lot easier. So you see how it is easy it is. So you make the longer line. You press it over here. You move it with the arrow key, and you're gonna measure to make sure it's correct. You got one milli. Yeah, I got, I got one millimeter. So it's good to go. And then you will continue doing that until you create a ruler. After you complete the ruler, you select the whole thing. For example, select the whole ruler like this. And then you will save it as a macro. Uh, this is just an example. Build the group first. You're going to build the group. And go to the letter M, as you see in the corner, the right corner, you will see a, 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 sort of like, a, like an integrated circuit with the letter M. And go down here, you will see like a floppy. And then you will save as macro, and then you, you just type the, whatever name you, you would like to type. I uh, just call it ruler for now. I have an, the, the original one, so ruler, and then you save it. You save it, and you just wait a few. Because I got a lot of macros on my, on my computer. Just let it wait. Let it finish its work. <laughs> it's almost done. I don't mind about that. It's because I have many, many macros on my folder. Uh, it's way too many. I probably got like six thousand something macros on my on my <laughs> on my library. That's way too much. Damn, still loading. I shall wait. No problem. It doesn't bother me. I, I'm, I'm just there. You go. It's already saved it. And then the only thing you gotta do is place it. Uh, one sample. This is the one that I made. You can see, and this is the one that I completed uh, last year. Uh, one sample. This is the. Let me delete this one here. So I, I use it uh, to make sure that the size of the PCB is not that way too big. But this one is about the size of the A4 paper size. Paper size, 297 millimeters. So. So I use it to, you know, make sure the PCB is not that big. But in this case, this monster audio amplifier is longer 
that I ever create before. So this is a Titan Apex HB23 Titan uh, MOSFET, MOSFET amplifier. All right, that's it. I'm gonna cut the video. I will continue making more videos. Don't worry about it. I will continue making more videos and examples and stuff like that. I made other videos about tutorials about spring layout series, but I, I, I guess I made them in Spanish, so I gotta make more videos about it so you guys can work with this software. This software is pretty good. I mean, it's not that expensive. It's like 60 something dollars. It's not that really expensive. All right, that's it, guys. Have a good day.